Hey everybody, it's me again. You know, we've been doing this for quite some time and, and we've learned a lot of things. So I thought maybe we'd try and put this all together and see if we can make it like a, a little product or something or something to kind of to show the fruits of all the labor we've done. So what I've done here is I built this unit right here and what it does, it has a Xavier NX inside with six relays attached to it. It has a touch screen on the front it's running uh, YOLO 3, uh, a deep stream, and it's also running some software from, it's called Quick HMI. And with that, you're able to take all this information you're we're collecting here, send it to a PLC, send it to a database, and you can send out email alerts. So we've combined all that to have a, a, a useful little product right here. So what it does is, you can see right now we're running we're running this uh, this is the 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 video stream that it's it's monitoring and you can see we've got bottles and apples and cups up there um, just wanted to point out my uh, Jets and Champion cups you know just kind of pointing that out and so what you do is you know you, and there's like 79 objects you can choose from so this is running the YOLO 3 model the full YOLO 3 model, not the tiny YOLO, you get up to 79 objects you can uh, choose from. From like kites to carrots to microwave to oven to toaster, all kinds of things. So what I did is I, I kind of grouped them into like type categories, like kitchen appliances or sporting goods and stuff like that. So what you can do is, this is a touch screen, and you see uh, we got apples up there. So what happens is we got the, the apples up there, if the count is set to four, once we achieve the count or go above it, the relay comes on. So if I was like, I wanted to count just five apples. Get my fat fingers out of there. Five. So since it says there's five there, oh, so let's, let's, let's take one away. You can see I took one away, so we went below the threshold, the relay went off. And as you can see, it's missing one there. And I want you to notice, once I put it back in, it's going to detect that it's there, and it's going to turn the relay on. As you noticed, it detected uh, uh, the fifth apple, and since my threshold is five, it turned it on. Now, you can do this by anything. You can, like here... Uh, I want to put a, a say apple again there. Oh. A. Let's see, I need my glasses. P, P. Oh, nope. P, P. L. Oh. L. Fingers are too fat. Oh, that's a J. L E hmm. Let's see, let's get this right. There we go. Accept. Now that's another thing too. Even you got a touch screen right here. Um, you can, uh, you know, you can hook up a, a, a mouse and a keyboard, like if it's easier for you. I just did this because of the, uh, you know, it, it, these units just might sit on the wall somewhere and you just occasionally have to come in and set them. So other than that, like you can see, it's detecting it all. If I take a bottle away, like right here, when let's say, and what it does is when you choose select an item, it goes and gets an item, and then actually, so you know you have the right item, it shows the list item, the item list up there. Like 47 is Apple. And if you look right there, 47 is Apple. So that tells you that it actually processed the uh, the input what you that you've asked for. And uh, like if you mess up, like you can like, uh, and this, and it tells you to try again. So basically, any one of those items over there you can pick. So let's go here. 
and a, a stylus is probably going to work out the best here. And so let's go with uh, bottle B O. Yeah. Backspace. Like you say, you need a stylus or a mouse. Come on, fat fingers. B O O T T T T L E and then accept. See, and then it changes over and tells you that done. So we've got this set point to one, and it's counting five. So what I can do is let's set this to three. Or two. So two. So now we equal or over two, so the relay is on. So we take these all away. And it detects that there's one. And the relay goes off, like I say. And then put them back on. It just says we have four up there, so let's put a five in there. Like I say, we're going to need a stylus. So there's five. Well, the relay, it doesn't go on, so it only sees four. So we'll put our additional one there. Like I say, and then here's the uh, screen. By the way, besides this, it's seeing the, all the objects. So I'll show you. We'll take a bottle away, and this will go down. And let's see. So... And then you see, besides seeing the objects, you actually get up here, you'll notice that you're getting the, on the screens, you're getting the status of the relays up here. So whatever the relay status is, uh, you can look at it up here. And by the way, at the same time this is doing it, this is running, a, this is a server. This unit is actually a server. So as long as it's on the network, you can access all of this from any other uh, computer on the network. You can access the screen. So if you want, if you don't want to come to the unit to make adjustments, you can access it, access it by just uh, putting in the address of this unit. Um, the video right here, the video is being sent out, RTSP. So you'll be able to access the video by using VLC. And so what I've done is uh, I've made a demo unit so really to really show the potential of how this will work. So what I'm going to do is we're going to move over to the demo unit, and I'm going to show you like just all the things it can do by talking to a PLC, uh, sending emails, and, and stuff like that. So anyway, thank you, and uh, I'm going to be moving over to the demo unit. So thanks.